Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel The Yatra Kit. Today we are on our way to New Land, which is one of the newest districts here in Nagaland. And today we are going to explore New Land and also we are going to one two villages. I'm actually going because uh, my friends have invited me to take along with them. And at the same time we'll also be exploring the coffee plantations today in New Land. So really excited for that. This is the Rasta right now. Uh, there's so much cars going here. Uh, I don't know how good I drive. Uh, I think I'm, I'm driving decent enough. And also, yeah, I'm not going up to Newland. I'll go up to Fort Mile first. I'll keep, keep this dad's car in my cousin's house. And then my friends will pick me up and we'll go. Oh, it's the wrong way. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are finally here in Newland district of Nagaland which is a one of the newest district here in Nagaland 13th district of Newland and this was created on 18 December 2021 We are so excited to be here Go out and we are going to be exposed to a lot of sunlight so I'm going to use this beetroot gentle face wash which is dermatological tasted and it gently cleanses and also one good thing is it is matte safe, soft free and also it suits all skin types and this is for hydrated pink glow even the color is pink, pinkish color and this is cruelty free and this is an Indian brand and one good thing I like about Mamarit is that it is plastic positive which means they recycle more plastics than you use every time you buy from Mamarit they will link your order to a tree that they plant and exact geolocation, species and picture of the plant will be sent to you and Mamarit products can be found in Amazon, Nika, Purple, Flipkart, Mamarit and also in Mamarit drugstores nearby you you can also use my code Yatra2024 for an instant 20% discount finally I'm done with my face wash and I've used this beetroot channel face wash which has beetroot and hyaluronic acid and I'm looking really fresh and now I'm going to go out and I'm, my face is generally clean now so let's go out and explore the coffee here in Newland district which is one of the newest district here in Nagaland We are here in the coffee farm right now and guess what I saw one I found one coffee the apparently harvest is done but look at this this is the coffee berry we pluck this and then we used to roast that coffee and then eat it I mean roast and then cure it and then from the machine they do the roasting and all and they used to dry kind of like fermenting and then later eat it I mean yeah eat it I just wanted to come here and shoot because I've always been interested to learn about coffee not just coffee but I'm just interested to learn about everything anything right actually my school friends who are also coffee growers not coffee growers they sell coffee nah? so they used to buy coffee from different parts of Naglin and they used to export and also sell coffee so I've always been intrigued by that and I've attended the World Coffee Conference last year as well along with them that is Joro Coffee House which happens to be my friend's car so Luckily and fortunately, I just came with them and this is not a sponsored video by anyone. I just wanted to show you guys how coffee... And this we are is not the coffee. It. Yeah. And to cut down those seeds, we feel <laughs> something. But we are... And guess what? One of the interesting things about coffee plantation is that Takana, it was 6 feet above Najai. It's usually 5 to 6 feet and if it grows beyond, they used to cut it off. And usually, they keep it only one stem because apparently if there are 2 three more stems, then uh, the yield is not good apparently. So this is one of the coffee plantations. Okay, this is the Robusta plant. I do not know how to differentiate between Robusta and Arabica. I have coffee in the middle of the day. So, if you do two types of coffee, usually one is Arabica, one is Robusta. In Nagaland, mostly Rob uh, Arabica is grown. But uh, here, Robusta is also there because some farms, they're still doing experiment on it. Na? And this is called Shed Farm. Shed Farm means it's a shed. Na? Direct sunlight plant. Direct sunlight plant. Na? Direct sunlight plant. Na? So that is how coffee is grown here. Aro, we'll get to learn more about coffee. You might be bored thinking, why do I need to learn about coffee? But it's always important. Like, uh, usually, coffee can kai nyes cafe olibi, churro coffee house olibi, churro olibi, nagaling coffee olibi, ki olibi, coffee to kai. So when you drink, you might be wondering, or you might never wonder also. So that's why I thought, why not shoot this video? So yeah. This is my friend. Hey! Not 2000, but 2000, and we are here and this is Arabica plant 
So like I said, there are two types of coffee. One is Robusta and one is Arabica. Uh, earlier we were seeing Robusta and now it's Arabica. Our Arabi Arabica, do you'll notice that it's all of it. Our Nagaland coffee is not the same. It's Arabica. And this is like short. Okay? And as you can see, so we don't... it's cut from here. So for them, they used to maintain its vegetation. Na. And we're gonna drink coffee right now. This is from Juro Roasters. This is 100% Arabica. 250 grams, and we're gonna have this now. And I'm gonna make grill as well. And this is my friends. Hi. Bro. So, yeah, we're gonna do this. He's having headaches, so it's okay. <laughs> my, he's having migraine, I mean. So we are crushing it, grounding the coffee now. We put the beans inside. This is a manual uh, grinder. And I'll show you the final product. I'll show you. So this is the final product. This is the grounded coffee now. And we're going to put it. And this is a coffee that we're gonna drink now. It's called Duro Coffee House. And yes, we are gonna go. And it's from Coffee House Duro. And this is the Duro Coffee House cup. <laughs> By the way, on another note, this is my third day. I'm not eating food and I'm just drinking coffee. It's a dry coffee. Also, I was told that you know in England, the departments were actually supporting the growth and also supporting the local farmers of coffee here in England, uh, be it the LDR, which is the long, uh, long distance <laughs> land resource de department, and also. Uh, the coffee board now it seems they are both pushing really hard uh, my friends were telling me that they are both pushing really hard to promote coffee here in Ireland and also for the sustenance of the local farmers here coffee here see I'll show you this is already dried and after this what happens it goes to our processing unit and we hull it after hulling we get it directly for roasting this is a natural dried process it's called naturals oh this rubber stand huh? yeah, yeah. This job is 10 naturals. Break one at a Coffee a bit of coffee again. I mean, like. Oh, Tamarilla bit of coffee again. Oh, this is the coffee, guys. See, there's like two coffee inside, two coffee beans inside. What is this bro? These are the uh, drying racks for coffee. Right after they harvest it, they uh, place it here. They do the color sorting for the cherries. Yeah. Uh, so it's on the dry wood. After oh, dry like coloring out, yeah. So uh, it's harvest, like harvest spray them there. So uh, actually we should pick only the ripe ones, the dark red ones. Okay. So what happens is, kijawa the picking grab them there, green sun be humai kachagan. So what they have to do is they bring it down here and then they sort it. Green sun ala kudu dark red. Green do it's green color. Oh, green color Yeah, and red. See guys, so beautiful. So elegant. And the killer papaya is a hybrid. Hybrid papaya. 
Pusila nam ke sankal? Ka hoto. Ka ho. Pusila nam du. Ha. Ah. Hoto vi. O. Oh. Ara mila nam du le ka hoto. Acha. Ara hasol pe ki man ase? Hasol du 75. 75 na. 1967 last na. Hmm. Acha. Agriculture laga. Ara itu kofi. Farming kura laga busti ase. Acha. Ara tamung bi. So we are buying coffee right now, and this is the local farmers. Balna, eight point. So the Balna, and the Balna. I'm uh, the coffee plain Korea. Kiman three inch na sa. Kiman a cas. One thousand above. One thousand. I'm the clever one. Acha, ayo didi do. Didi do. Kiman coffee inch na. I'm the one. He also met uh, A.B. Vajpayee, Prime Minister of India, the 10th Prime Minister of India. Now we are doing the Kambura wala. He has the highest yield, I think. Uh, uncle is here. Uncle! This is why I tell you that you should grow coffee in 2024 because the coffee business is doing really nice in Ireland and doing very well in Ireland and you should be the next one also growing coffee here in Ireland and yes one good thing about coffee is that it is also a part of the green economy and it also follows the three E's which is economy, employment and uh, ecology which is economy means obviously the whenever you sell coffee you are getting self-sustained you are getting uh, money you are getting everything right and uh, you're also helping the economy of the place that you're in and also the second one is ecology when you plant coffee you know usually you can do mixed cropping you just don't grow coffee in a plot of land you can do mixed cropping you can do shed cropping you can do uh, shed farming and all of those that way soil is not getting deteriorated nor the case environment and the third one is employment obviously which is you can see farmers here are getting employed and i was told that in this village that is the second village we're in it's called Khotovi or something it's G H O T O V I. it's since 1969-67 this village is here since 1967 it's called as Khotovi here also employment wise most of the people are now indulged in uh, coffee farming and this is why they're getting employed this is why the economy is getting better and this is why the environment is, that is the ecology is also getting better so yeah this is why you should grow coffee in the year 2024 and another interesting thing that I've read, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but coffee is as addictive as alcohol. And if people are getting addicted to alcohol, people have the chance to get addicted to coffee as well. I mean, so many people and so many of us are already addicted to coffee anyway. But yeah, this is why the demand is going to get just higher and higher. And this is why you should also open a coffee store here in Naglen. I see a lot of people opening coffee stores in Naglen. And maybe this is the reason why people love coffee people are getting full in for coffee and this is why again i tell you you should grow coffee in 2024 all the best